Welcome to worship at Trinity Lutheran Church as we gather on this second Wednesday in the Advent season. We're thankful that you are here with us. We invite you to take some deep breaths and to relax, to settle in, and maybe even light a candle or two of your own and watch and wait with us during this Advent season for the coming of Christ. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your peace. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you sing creation story, shine on every land and race. God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your peace by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Let my prayer rise up like in 
incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. O oh God, I call to you. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. A reading from Romans. May the God of hope fill you with such peace and joy in your faith that you may be filled with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. As a child, I hardly ever spent the night away from home by myself. I would head to my grandmother's house with overnight bag in hand, full of confidence and excitement, the same was true with the homes of my friends. I would pack my things, thrilled to be spending the night away. But it almost always turned out the same way. I'd be having fun, everything was fine, all was well until it started getting dark. I'd managed to be okay until it was time to go to bed. And with the darkness came the worry the anxiety, the fear. With the nighttime came the homesickness, the overwhelming need to be home with my family. That sick sense of foreboding, the uneasiness in my stomach, the headache, the urgency to leave. And even though I was safe, I still needed to go home. And it was my dear daddy who always answered the family phone when I called home on those nights. It was usually close to midnight, and most of the time he stayed up, remained dressed, waited for my call, waited for the moment when he would make the short drive to pick me up, to save me from my homesickness, to bring me home to tuck me safe and snug and cozy into my childhood bed. The Advent season brings with it a sense of homesickness. It's not the same homesickness of my childhood. It's not the longing for the safety and security of my home, not the longing for the comfort of my own bed. This Advent homesickness, this Advent longing is much deeper, much more profound. This Advent homesickness is a yearning, a hope-filled desire, 
a deep-seated hope for a kinder, more gentle, safer world for all of God's children. Advent is homesickness. Advent is a yearning, a longing, a desire for things to be right, for a world that is just. In this season of Advent, I am homesick, full of hope, for joy that is contagious, for nations that feel like neighbors, for hospitals that run empty, for systems that do not always favor the rich and the white, for safe, brave spaces of love and grace where everybody belongs, for a world where oceans are clean, trees are green, and animals are not endangered, for a life where days feel expansive and Sabbath True Sabbath, true rest, feels possible. For a time when mental illness is not stigmatized, when time is not a commodity, and self-worth is not a scarcity. For a time when all people are loved, honored, valued, affirmed, welcomed, and celebrated, regardless of the color of their skin, their country of origin, their sexual orientation, their gender, or their socioeconomic status. When it comes to this Advent homesickness, we find ourselves with two options. We can settle for the status quo and allow cynicism to win, or we can stay homesick for the world God wants for us. So do we hope against hope, or do we throw in the towel? Do we insist on a better world, or do we assume a better world is impossible? In these days of Advent, we search for ways to use our homesickness as fuel for a better world, a world that loves and honors and values all people. We pray for God to kindle in us a hope, a fierce, faithful, persistent hope, a hope that will not relent, a hope that will not give up, a hope that perseveres no matter how dark the night or how hard the fight, a hope that pushes us out into the world, a hope that encourages us and inspires us to work for change, to demand change, to stand up and speak out for change. We hope for and work for a world where all are fed. We hope for and work for a world with more bridges than walls. We hope for and work for a world with wide open doors, with wide open hearts. We hope for and work for a world where decisions about women's bodies are made by individual women, where books are not banned, where politicians do not lie, where people with power, money, and influence care more about others than they do about themselves. We hope for and work for a world where all people feel at home, in their bodies, in their classrooms, in their families, in God's church. We hope for that world. We long for that world. We are homesick for that world. Advent is a time to join with God, to work with God, to create with God, a world that God wants, that God desires, a world that is home for all of God's beloved children, a world without war or fear or scarcity or hunger or racism or privilege, a world full of love, a world full of hope. 
May this Advent season draw us closer to this new world, this new world for which God is hoping and dreaming and yearning. Amen. 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 out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great and my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait you fix your sight on your servant's plight and my weakness you did not spurn so from east to west shall my name be blessed could the world be about to turn my heart shall sing of the day you bring let the fires of your justice burn wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn though i am small my god by all you work great things in me your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring let the fires of your justice burn wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn from the halls of power to the fortress tower not a stone will be left on stone let the king beware for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. The light shines in the darkness, and, and the, the darkness, darkness has not, not overcome it. it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. His name shall be Jesus, the Chosen One of 
of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come your, your will, will be done, be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of us. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.